do a quick video real fast it's a little after lunchtime today get some video of the something being loaded <laughs> this morning has been a nightmare uh, I'll show more when we get back to the new location Slung dry shaft out of the work truck, moving the first round of equipment this morning. Um, then the brakes locked up on the work truck and they caught on fire. It's been one of those days. I'll show y'all some more when we get to the woods. <clears throat> the new the new woods, should I say. It has not been a very fun day. That's all there is to it. So right now we're waiting on the truck driver to get his chains out. We're fixing to load the 620 and the 718. We're fixing to put it both them both on the low boy. These are the last two pieces of equipment here. By the time we get back to the new spot, should should strong should have uh, my chambers back. Just have another one of our. Other, our trucks going and getting it. And uh, so we should have it set up and running by the time we get back over there. Such a pretty day again. It's really nice out here for it to be middle of May. Normally it's uh like 5,000 degrees and 97% humidity and 78 degree dew points. You know, it's just ridiculously hot and muggy down here this time of year. But I think this morning, I think we started off, it was 55, 56 degrees, something like that. It was, I mean, it was relatively cool. You can see just how little you have on each side of the machine and this is a nine foot wide trailer so all right they got that one up there i'm gonna jump up here and help the truck driver with his chains <clears throat> we'll be back road is so rough through here. Give me a second. Get a video stop bouncing. Woo! Alright. We passing the skidder and the trunk. Rubber tire cutter. We're on the road. We're on the road. So, uh, yeah. I'll be back when we get to the new job site. Alright. So we're at the new site. And this, <laughs> as we were getting here, decided to exit the vehicle so good thing about having a big crew we always have lots of help lots of help we have a truck down right now truck leaving over there we got a truck down today he's a pretty good mechanic too is that right Jesse? pretty good mechanic <laughs> so anyway now they're they're putting a dry shaft back in the work truck i actually moved one load of wood so far the deliminator is here and it is on its way in superman there been cutting wood So this thing come out doing about, we was doing what, Mickey, about 65? Uh, somewhere in the ballpark. 60, 65, we was cruising down the road, fixing to turn off. And... Now, it, did a, it did a vibrating for about two seconds. You know how uh, you hit the rumble strips on the side of the road, that vibrating like that? That's exactly what it felt like. And then, boom! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Mickey said, what was that? I said, I don't know. And then they said, oh, it's the dry shaft. And I looked in the mirror and it was, it was leaving there. I said, yep, that was the dry shaft. Well, at least if it's one's going to tear up, it's the easy one. Need a cheater pipe? Some really nice long needle nose pliers somewhere. Let me see if I can. Well, got her box back. Man, look how pretty. New paint. Fixing to beat it all to hell. Okay, so what happened? This drum. You see the shaft up in there? You can see all this here. Where it's, the drum slid on the shaft. Let me see if I can get up here and show you all this. So inside there, you see those little bolts? There's, those are like wedges. And they wedge that drum down on the shaft. And all that broke, and we had patched it up, and it slid backwards into this. Oh, we found a drum. They said... You can throw them in the maroon truck. Got more room in it. So, got brand new top and bottom drum. Match dropping trees over with the track machine. So it's got new bearings, all new bearings, all new belts, all new drums, all new chains. It might as well be a brand new machine. <laughs> it don't matter what this outside looks like. We worry about what's working inside of it, huh, Nikki? Show y'all a little bit inside here. They probably didn't lock it back in gear, Mickey, either. So this right here, bring my brightness down. This right here is your gear. It goes to the, it might as well, you might as well call that a transmission. It's called a clutch pack, whatever. So it goes in gear with here with this little bar thingy there Oops. and then your computer with your key and all that other good stuff it's very very a very 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 simple design the new ones instead of having two belts like you see there it has just one belt and some kind of tensioner system down at the bottom uh, this one here you have to adjust the the tension of the belts with these big screws here, here, right here, right here, and then there's four more on the other side as well. Let me watch the 853 run for a minute. He's widening out the set so we can get that wood that's in the middle. Just some really good first inning, especially for this area. We'll, uh, he's going to get to widen that spot out over there for him to pile wood with the old loader. The new loader's already set up out there. We're going to get the wood in the middle there out. And uh, piled up on the other side over there. And then we're going to back the box in between the two loaders. Most of them are. 
Because if you put the fitting in the top, you risk a chance of knocking it off. Only problem I had. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's actually supposed to have like a little piece of a hose off the bottom of it. Is what it's supposed to. Have. It's supposed to have a little piece of hose underneath there and kind of dangle down to where you don't got to get up and get right beside that bearing. But man, I'm excited to see that. It might. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might as well be a brand new machine though with everything it's got. I mean hell the motor don't have a thousand hours on it. The drums are brand new, drop brand new chains. Yeah. That's an easy fix though. Well uh We got this though to where it'll I guess he thinks that's enough room for him over there. Got the 748 out there coming up the hill with a drag. So this is going to be a very conventional style setup of thinning, except we're going to be doing it with a track machine. Super Danny here, he's going to be running the rubber tire ahead of the track machine. I should be able to get lots of video here. That's, I thought this was only like 30 acres. Come to find out on the paperwork, it's actually 55 acres. So there's going to be, I'm going to say well over a week's worth of work here. So there should be lots of video come off of this, this track. I'm really excited to finally get somewhere where we can get set up and just roll again. Um, so yeah, it's... I know, man. I know, man. <laughs> Matt hanging trees. Fixing the shish kebab to loader. Got a piece of wood in your track. <laughs> oh. oh well, cross piece. Yeah, I'm a cross piece now. <laughs> you got a John Deere. Anyway, we're we're real excited to finally get somewhere and be able to start working and get steady again. Man, this this what we've been doing the past month and a half, two months has been just, it's its draining on a crew. It's its rough, but uh, so we'll be back in a minute. We'll try and get some video of us back to back in the box in there, getting it set up, maybe the first few pulls through it. I'm, I'm for sure gonna get a, a few videos of the first pool, few pulls. I'm excited to get that going, getting this, getting this box set up and going anyway we'll be back okay so we got the box set up and we're fixing to put the first bucket of wood in it man that thing is cool I'm kind of like cotton top when it comes to stuff like that, man, it just really, ooh, I like that. So anyway, turn y'all down a little bit more. Oh. There we go. Anyway, I'm kind of like Cotton Top, man. This stuff is really, I like it. I like it a lot. I love logging. Well, especially when you get something and it's working right. So that thing sitting there with the, uh, not, you know, knocking the limbs off like it is there definitely explains a lot as to some of our production issues while we've been using it here in the past few weeks. So we still have to pull the tops out. So he just throws it in the top and saw, knocks the top out of it. One that helps for the meal. That helps with the meal 
Um, the meal wants a cut top. For two, if you cut those little small tops out of the trees before you put them in there, the box don't feel trash near as fast. Second loader over here, he'll dig through some of the trash. The first loader really don't dig much trash at all. Just very little. And then if a truck shows up, or whatever, we're putting lots of wood, lots of wood on a, you know, through the box and through the other loader over here. So we don't really pull with bushes at all. That's why we have a trim saw. All right, so we moved over here, which y'all see from a little bit of a different angle. Okay, so two reasons we're over here. One, I'm in the shade. It's hot today, and I'm fat. Two, you can kind of watch him do a little bit more over here from the side. I have a skitter with a blowed line. I gotta go see what's up with it. Y'all yeah, just hang tight and keep watching. Alright, so we got everything set up. Filling up. It's time to go. Got. That's knocking three loads of wood, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it's knocking three loads. But anyway, Box is doing an awesome, 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 awesome job. Really glad to have it back in an operate, top operating condition. We may have to adjust some belts tomorrow morning, maybe. I heard a few belts squilling. But, uh, so we're filling up the 234B. Chambers is already full. This is full. Getting full, huh? Green pump quit. Green pump quit? Is it good? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's still good. So we got three fuel pumps, two fuel hoses. One of them's got quick connect. One of the hoses has a quick connect. He was asking if the front pump still had diesel. But anyway, as you can see, the drive shaft is still uh, out. We're only like 15 miles from the house here. So we're gonna limp this thing home in four wheel drive and pray we make it. We should be all right though. All right guys, it's been a hell of a day. I still got more work to do when we get home. I'm out of here later.